Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the search method which is available in concurrent hash map class. So if you go to the concurrent hash map source code and if you press Ctrl O and try to search for the search method, then you can see there are four search method, right? So first, first search method takes long as an argument which is nothing but the and uh, threshold i mean parallel th threshold and second argument we have a by function method so basically you can apply search on uh, key value pair by using by function by passing the uh, by function as a lambda expression and uh, and this will return you the result now next search method saying that search keys so this basically perform search based on the hash map keys and uh, this will return you the keys itself right second third up we have a search values so this will uh, perform the search on the value and if some values is matching then that value will be returned and fourth we have a search entry so this will perform i mean search operation on entry object right which is in, in concrete hash map so let's try to understand these four methods using an example so here i have created a project with name concurrent hash map methods client test and here uh, we'll try to explore uh, these four methods so let's create a object of concurrent hash map <coughs> sorry and here key I'm taking as an integer and value I'm taking as a UU ID as we have taken in previous example <coughs> sorry now let's create a map object concurrent hash map right now in this concurrent hash map just as like previous example I'm going to store five I mean 50 I'm going to just create a 50 session ID kind of session ID and I'm going to store in this map so map has a put method sorry map is having a put method is accepts key value pair so here I I'm passing as a key and here <coughs> UU ID <coughs> has a random method right so this will create a session idea that will put into this map as a value right so now uh, we can use search method on it right so first search method is accepts parallelism threshold and by function so parallelism threshold i am taking three and now by function we can define as a lambda extension over here so now we have a key and value in concurrent hash map now we are going to define lambda expression for this now let's write some business logic right we are looking for the i mean session id like int or you can say integer integer session id equal to we are looking for the 20 right and here you can check i mean uh, key in hash map you concurrent hash map we do not have a <coughs> key as a null so without fear you can apply uh, any method on this key so you can if equals you can apply the equals method equals uh, session id if this condition is true then you can return one value and let's say if a uh, session id is created for this id then return that session id so and session id here i am going to return as a string like new string a string has a lot of constructor and one constructor which here you can pass some string inside the constructor constructor a string constructor so here i am going to pass k in that is nothing but a key and colon sorry colon 
v right so this is I'm going to return and let's return else this method if this condition gets true then uh, just we are concatenating concatenating key and value and just putting into a string and returning that one else this will return you the null if there is no matching then this search is going to return you the return you uh, null so I would just search result and this search result we can print out of here so search result right so this action you can perform without using I mean this kind of code right but here advantage of using this search method in concurrent hash map this is completely thread safe and here you can make use of the parallelism threshold so here you can specify the how many threads you want to be spawned to perform this search operation right that's the benefit right now next if I run it then I can show you the output for this now here we are getting the output ID and corresponding session ID is getting printed so we got the we got the matching result for this if you specify 200 and if you try to run it then of course we will not get any value and we are getting the null right so let's make it 20 and we know that for 20 the result is there right now next method uh, next method I'm going to again check for searching on this map itself so you have a map dot again see if you over the search then after that we have a search entries right so here again I'm going to specify threshold 3 and if you look into the search entry then second parameter you have a search function which is under the function functional interface right and if you look look into the function interface is a functional interface which is having a apply method so you can pass one input parameter and either you can result return the same output or you can uh, do some you can apply some business logic on this input parameters so uh, this is a functional interface so of course we can write lambda expression for this method right so here come to here and here we are going to write a lambda expression for this right so let's write lambda expression for this so we have an input like uh, search method says search entries right so let's say e is another entries which is a combination of key value pairs right and here we can check I can write some business logic like uh, uh, in a similar fashion uh, if you like if uh, e dot get value right and dot you can say two string and you can say contains a string as a method is called contains if any session ID contains a p right then I would like to return that session ID right so so as we know that concurrent hash map does not maintain any in such order so whichever result will we find first after that that search operation will be terminated okay so that will give the first occurrence of result right here you can say e dot and here you can say again you can return like this you can return the result like this in similar fashion but here you have a e dot get key and e dot get value get value right here you can see now you can if if you do not get any match then in that case this guy is going to return you not right so let's see now if you print this value so if you print for second SOP if I run this program then see what output we get so we get this output right so a session ID whose I say session with the entry 18 right key with 18 uh, look at here a b is here right right so that's why this string is getting returned so i hope you understood it's a self explanatory right api so i hope you understood now next we are going to look in map 
we have a next search so next keys right search keys see threshold value i'm going to specify two again this is a functional interface right so this will basically return a key itself only key right so it's pretty simple so here i can say k and i'm going to write a lambda expression for this again and here i would say if k greater than 20 right greater than 20 then return okay so to make this demo shorter just i'm going to write a very simple use case very simple business logic right if our id is greater than 20 if we find then return this id else return null so that's it very pretty simple use case and if you print this search let me search if let me print this value so if i run it then i will get we are getting uh, 32 over here so why 32 why not 21 because 21 is present in the hash map as a key right so what's the reason we are getting 32 and uh, and always we will not get 32 right if i run it now we might get something else but for sure that would be more than 20 right so because as i said ha concurrent hash map does not maintain the insertion order so whichever so does not and this search operation is performed by the multiple threads right and order does not maintains right so whichever gets the first search result that is going to return by this search method that's why we are not getting 21st even though 21st is in the map as a key still we are getting the 32 right so that's the reason now next search method we have was something that's very pretty simple and if you check next search method so which is pending that is based on the value right search value so we can perform search operation on values so let me check out this method we haven't seen till yet right search entries search here yes, search value so you can perform search operation on value itself right so you can say v and you can write lambda expression for this as well and here you can check if um, if uh, a b and dot equals not equals contains this is cont contains by this v v dot to string you can say to string so just we are checking very simple business logic if any uh, session id contains a letter a b then just we are trying to return that result that's it so we'll return that value itself right and this condition does not get true then we would like to return null right so that's all so if i try to print this result search for the last result then let's see what result we get so search values right if i run it then you can see what is the last sop output we are getting the null so i think no session id contains a as string as ab so that's the reason we are getting null over here so let's run multiple times and still we are getting null so no luck over here so let's see if any session id contains letter b still no luck so let's see is there any thing wrong with this logic so if i do the reverse like search value so basically we are performing uh, and if i do a b now let's see what is coming out